Good afternoon, my name is Michael McGill. I'm the incident commander for Florida Search and Rescue. Uh, I'd like to start out by thanking the media. Uh, they've done a tremendous job in giving us a platform to amplify our message uh, of safety and security for the people of the Carolinas and the surrounding areas. Um, we'd like to thank all the men and women of uniform uh, and thank you for putting yourself in the line of duty when we needed you the most. Uh, Florida Search and Rescue has been working on so search and rescue operations for the last couple days and we believe now it's time to switch over to um, moving into the logistical phases of all this. So what we want to do is give people an opportunity that do want to donate uh, an outlet, uh, a place where they can they can send their donations or maybe they have some skills in logistics or logistics court, you know, operations or something like that. So um, we'd like to reach out to you, or if you, if you want to donate, um, and you want to make sure that your supplies are going to the right place other than FEMA or the Red Cross, and you want them to make their way to the areas that are most affected by the, by the storm, uh, Florida Search and Rescue is extremely good with logistics and operations in that area. We are a 501c3 organization, so if you would like to make a donation that is tax deductible, uh, we, this is an opportunity for that too. We can send you the paperwork so that uh, you, can, you can file it with the IRS to make sure that everything is in place. Um, so right now I'm, just, I'm going over some notes, making sure that uh, we're doing everything. I just want everybody to know that we're working closely with the, uh, the local uh, and state officials to provide the safest and the quickest response to any type of emergency uh, that both states are coming across. Uh, they've activated both of their National Guards, and, and I, we, we've been working with multiple organizations on the civilian side, uh, and everybody's putting their life on the line just to support, uh, you know, the Carolinas. Uh, it's an outstanding opportunity to be chosen to do this kind of work and find yourself in uh, a search and rescue effort, and I think that sometimes uh, we get more rescuers than we actually do rescuees. Uh, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I think uh, an outstanding support by the community is important to prove that uh, we as Americans still care about each other and do the right thing. Uh, but for the past few days, we've, we've, like I said, we've prioritized saving lives, but it's now it's time to switch, over into, switch gears into like our second phase of the operations, which is the logistical and distribution of uh, donations. Um, we will basically, I think supplies are going to start arriving in the next couple days in the area. Uh, we're making contacts uh, with organizations uh, that are willing to assist us with uh, establishing logistical supply routes and staging facilities uh, where the supplies were, will, are in the most affected area. Um, the people of uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and surrounding areas should be able to receive these, uh, these uh, supplies. Um, we are willing, uh, people that are willing to donate things like deliver goods, um, drive goods, donate goods, donate uh, gas cards, things like that. Uh, we definitely would like to, uh, to get with you and work on some of that. Um, we're working very closely with other organizations to amplify the, uh, your message, our message, um, uh, with dozens of other organizational teams, ambassadors from California to New Jersey. Uh, that are people that are willing, really wanting to and help. If you'd like to donate uh, any type of supplies or logistical capabilities to an organization that can be trusted to make sure that your donations make it to the right place and to exactly to the affected areas that you think would be, uh, we'd like to ask you to consider Florida Search and Rescue as that as your ex arm or extension uh, to get the supplies to where you think they should go. Um, none of it's going to go to the Red Cross. None of it's going to go to FEMA. Only or local organizations that uh, do not have any connections to government agencies. Uh, like I said, we're a 501c3 group that will gladly provide you with all the paperwork that's needed uh, so that you can make a tax-deductible donation. Let me go through some more of my notes here. Um, uh, if, if you would like to do this, I'd really like for you to contact my operations officer, uh, Amy Coates. Um, I'll make sure that her, her email address is in the comments and also we uh, have a website, www.floridasar.com, or you can find us on Facebook at Florida SAR. Um, you can do it there. Uh, we have we take PayPal and other things like that. Um, 
So those are there's outlets that you can reach us at. Uh, I'll also, like I said, I'll also drop her comments, uh, our, our, her email address in the comments below. Uh, we'd like to set some expectations, though. Uh, not every one of these operations are going to help everybody. Uh, it will be your responsibility to locate a local distribution point, arrange travel, uh, resources and manpower are limited uh, as, as it is, and we will need your help to organize and maintain these logistical uh, points of distribution. Um, don't, don't, don't wait on the government to, to take care of you uh, when you're capable of taking care of yourself uh, and your neighbors. You know, we got to do the whole community here. Um, I think it's important for the, the community leadership to step up and identify future heroes of our towns and cities that are about to be heroes. Uh, I want to take this time to say thank you to the teams of uh, dedicated people that have put their lives and paying jobs on hold so that we could uh, so that they could use their set of skills that they've learned over the last couple hurricanes to support the reg the region of the United States that needed their attention the most. Uh, in addition, I'd like to go ahead and thank uh, a couple organizations uh, out there: Cedar, uh, Avert, the Cajun Navy, Florida Disaster Response. Britmore Rescue, I could go on about how fantastic some of these groups have been. Um, and I want to thank others for bringing in their knowledge and expertise where it was, where it was needed the most. Uh, please abide by all state and local warnings. Uh, uh, protect yourselves at all times and your family. Uh, and please do not put, other, put our volunteers in any more harm that they're already in. Um, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watching this video and maybe reaching out to us and seeing, even if you have any questions on what you could do to help out. And it might be as simple as having us call a shelter and seeing if they're short on supplies. So I'm trying to keep this video under seven minutes because that's what you're, that's what we do here nowadays. But uh, like I said, I want you to, uh, you know, uh, Florida Search and Rescue is interested in help, you helping us and we helping you and the most affected regions of North and South Carolina. Uh, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.